Tonight, a disabled man is trying to let people know about the troubles he had and the delays he had with his Tennessee football game day shuttle. The man tells us long wait times and long walks created major issues for people with disabilities for last weekend's home game. Our Lexi Lipoff is speaking with him and Knoxville Area Transit today. Vol fan Danny Folks has relied on this CAC game day shuttle for the past decade to get him to Neyland Stadium. It's a major help to him because he's disabled. But this year, a change to the program left his experience overshadowed with long walks and long wait times in the unbearable heat. There was no advance notice that that's how it was going to be. Danny Folks is a cancer survivor and has a fused ankle, creating major challenges to walk long distances and up hills. He and his wife say they have taken a handicap cat game day shuttle for the past 10 football seasons. But this year, there weren't any of those running. Usually the handicap buses take you to the, to the game, the stadium, and park down close to gate 21. This time, these, the big buses led us up near Cumberland Avenue and you had quite a bit for about twice as far to walk. For past seasons, Cat ran some smaller handicapped buses with a wheelchair lift, holding 14 people. They eliminated that option this year. They say all of their bigger buses are ADA compliant. What we've done is, if we're going to have an operator and a bus out here, we want to maximize that use. So we want to put either a 35-foot bus or a 40-foot bus because we can fit up to 70 people on there. And another challenge, a new ticketing system this season. All shuttle passes now must be bought through the Cat app creating delays with riders who didn't know about the change. A long time to stand for someone like folks. We left at the end of the third quarter. I can't imagine what it would be like at the end of a close game, you know, when everybody leaves at the same time. It's, I just don't know how that's going to work, for, for, especially for handicapped people. Cat says they anticipated challenges with the new system and called it a learning lesson. They say they feel confident there won't be slowdowns for future game days. But as for the smaller handicapped buses, they say there's no plan to bring them back right now. A lot of people counted on those, and that would just ease everyone's mind, I think. In Knoxville, Lexi Lepoff, WVLT News. Kat tells us short staffing plays a major factor in the changes. They say they currently have 20 to 25 open positions. That's just for drivers.